what we've seen is without automation, you're 20 to 30 percent, right? And and people are surprised at that because they go, wait, my my system's running. Put a camera on your system. I think you'll be surprised how much time it really does have uh, running. And what we're trying to do is again elevate you all the way up to at least 80 percent plus, utilizing the complete solution, which is software plus hardware. You know, the physical automation plus the software automation. With Nathan from Fast Ems, we're going to find out about their latest product, the FPT, and are we going to get to that elusive 8760? <laughs> Nathan, this is your latest system, but first it of is. all, people who don't know Fast Ems, what do you do? What do we do? Great question. So, Fast Ems is all about intelligent automation. That, that's really what we deliver to the market. While we deliver software, I mean, hardware shows up on the plant floor, you get all this equipment, but at the end of the day, it's about the software, it's about the intelligent automation helping us to achieve that 8760, which is 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, right? That's our goal. How do we get as close to 100% of that as we can? And that's what we're trying to and deliver. And that's what you're all about. And you've been, you've been doing it a long time as well. Yeah, we've been doing it over 40 years for Fastums. And actually we started off in a, in a kind of a machine builder space and they needed to automate. And it was like, wow, well we started automating our own stuff and we said, wow, maybe we could take this to the world. And we ultimately separated and we became Fastums. And Fastums is aimed just at the engineering sector only at automation in the CNC machine tool area. We're focused, we're dedicated to that space. We don't do any other space outside of that. So that's what helps us to provide the software capabilities that we have is because we've got that 40 year experience delivering solutions and we've learned. And that's how we help our customers. We leverage that learning that we've done over those years. And when you say helping customers, because you know, Generally, a lot of times people quote, you know, a machine running for 30% of the time, which is absolutely crazy, isn't it? And they think they're running a lot, lot higher, so look <laughs> at that. And one of the solutions, though, is a system like this, which is the FPT. What is this and what's so good about it? So FPT is a flexible pallet tower, right? And the, the advantage of the flexible power tower is it's designed for work for systems that don't have an APC. So you don't have an automatic pallet changer, so this can go in space those machines. The other thing is we're flexible. We can work with over a hundred different machine tool brand builders, which that's an, a wonderful thing. And again, that's from our experience, right? We've worked with so many. So we wanted to design a solution that was flexible. But again, the key to this solution, this hardware solution here, is the software, MMS. Okay. That's what we're trying to, that's what really separates it from just the mechanics or the motion. We found out a bit about the background of FastEMS and obviously engineering specific. What is this? It's, a, well, it's the latest product, which is the FPT. Right. Latest product, flexible pallet tower. Actually, it was requested by our uh, builders and dealers because they'd used our automation. They asked, could we make a solution like this? And the key to it is size. It's a very compact unit, despite the fact that standing next to it, it feels pretty big. Uh, but in the, in, the, in the automation space, it's a small unit, right? Um, and it allows us to use our MMS software, which we'll talk about more. But it has that capability, 500 kilogram version in terms of your uh, the load weight on the pallet, up to a thousand. So some big, big billets. That's a big, exactly. So there's two versions of it that we're offering today, and we'll be expanding in the future as well. Right, so pretty much on any machine tool, and can that be new or retrofitted? We're focused right now on new. Obviously, we're looking at the retrofit market for the future, right? Okay, but you've got some big billets in there, up to, up to 24. Up to 24 in this version, and you can scale down. There's an 18 uh, pallet version as well. I think there's a 12, 18, 24 okay. are the sizes that are available. Is it easy, not that you want to break it, but the contro <laughs> there's controls in place to make sure you're, you're not smashing this Yeah, machine. we designed it such that, obviously, if you're trying to force it to a station that it's not set up for, it won't allow you to fight you to do that. So there's some protection to keep you from breaking it. Okay. But then we, we also mentioned footprint because we go to a lot of machine shops, and they go, oh, we're in a new machine shop, we've been here 12 months, and we need to move again because we run out of space. But that's key to what this, because it's a small the, footprint. The, the small footprint is important. Maybe we have customers that will put something like this and equipment in an older facility and they might have a, a very short roof, right? Or small space that they need to fit it in. So the size is really not, is designed to support customers where space is still important. You think about it, you know, living in the US, you go, hey, we got plenty of space. Eh, not always. So space is still an important issue for customers. So you've got the space, you've got the low capacity, you've got the number of pallets that it can support and the flexibility with the different machine tool builders. Nathan, you alluded to earlier, it's not about the hardware. FastEM is really about the software, and you've got market-leading software, the MMS. What actually is that? So the MMS is our uh, manufacturing management software, and really it's the key to FastEMs and our capabilities, right? Automation isn't just about the motion or the movement like you see here that's going on. It's really about the end-to-end -end software, integrating that into your manufacturing systems, 
and allowing the software to guide you, right? It's about the production planning. You should just be able to put in your order in your ERP system and let us take over. Let us take control of that, right? When you say us, you mean the software. The software, right. Let us uh, the software take over for you. Let it help to do your planning, right? That's the efficiency that you get out of the system. That's what helps you to get to the 80 plus percent utilization uh, that we're talking about in 8760 is through the software. Okay, so with this software then, it's looking at your initial order, your work holding, your, your raw materials, your tooling, your number of machines, everything really. It really looks at all of that. I mean, you think about which machine is running what portion of the process. And so the software knows that, right? So it takes that into account, what each station is doing. It looks at, to your point, the material. Do I have the right material? Based on the material that I have, I'm going to run this function. And it knows your, the lead time. It knows the, the time that you want to deliver that product to your customer. And it takes all that into account. But things are changing all day, every day. It's a dynamic system. Though. It is dynamic. And you go in, you change your order, you change your delivery time. It will adjust. It'll make the changes for you, right? You get an alarm. One of the, It happens, things happen, you get an alarm and something can't go, it'll adapt to that as well. So it's constantly adapting to changes. So you're right, it's dynamic. So helping you get that elusive 8760. That is, that is it. It's not so elusive. Don't make it so elusive. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> again, we go back to the fact that a lot of engineers, you look at them and do the studies and they're working at maybe 30%. You've got engineers go much, much higher than that. You quoted a few figures earlier. Yeah. So, I mean, everybody, you know, what we've seen is without automation, you're 20 to 30%, right? And, and people are surprised at that because they go, wait, my, my system's running. Put a camera on your system. I think you'll be surprised how much time it really does have uh, running. And what we're trying to do is, again, elevate you all the way up to at least 80% plus utilizing the complete solution, which is software plus hardware, you know, the physical automation plus the software automation. Okay, and I'm, thinking, I'm looking at these systems, though. It could be a big investment, you know, six figures, seven figures. What sort of return investment can I know it's application specific? It is, but you know, you think about it. As you move up that, that utilization, that's your payback. Right, because that's what's going to de determine your cost per product, your cost per part. And the more utilization, the lower the cost of part, the faster it is that you're going to be able to get your payback. Right. So if I said to you 12, 18 months, that wouldn't be unrealistic. Oh no, not at all. No, absolutely. Um, a lot of our customers are able to see full payback within a year. Right. Again, you've got to embrace the end to end, yeah. not just buying the hardware. It's more to it than that. Right. Yeah, you've got to believe in the. You've solution. got to believe in it. You got to trust it, and you've got to let it work for you. And then you step back and let it make the money for you. Exactly. <laughs> Nathan, great insight into fast from fast into software, software company with a bit of hardware on the side. There you go, exactly. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, appreciate it.